Here's another thrilling calculus adventure. We're to area, and uh, right now we're going to be doing Riemann sums. So we're going to be working on problem five. You're given a function, an interval, a number of sub-intervals that divide AB into equal pieces of length delta x, and the points that you're supposed to approximate the height of each point. So we're supposed to sketch the graph of F and the rectangles with the base and height listed. And then we're supposed to find the approximation of the area under the curve. So let's see how that works out. Here we go. This is my function. Uh, this function should be graphed fairly easily. <clears throat> I suppose the intercept is 8. Let's pretend like that's 8. The slope is negative 2. So it's going down like that fairly quickly. Uh, let's see. I guess it's going to cross at 4. And we're evaluating from 1 to 3. And let's see. So we're trying to get that area. I'm going to break this into four equal pieces. So we'll break it at 2, we'll break it at 1.5, break it at 3, and then the height of each piece is going to be taken at the midpoint, right? So there's that piece, there's the height that I'm going to approximate that box with. Now this particular Riemann sum should be perfectly accurate because these boxes should cancel each other out flawlessly. Uh, that won't always be true if the function is curved, but life is good here, right? Okay, so uh, I have sketched the graph, sketched the rectangles, um, and now I'm supposed to find the approximate area. Now, each of these I'm supposed to do uh, the height times the base. And first off, formally, I already sort of did it, uh, but delta x, notice that's 3 minus 1 over 4, or 1 half. So how do I get, if the box is 1 half wide, how do I get the midpoint? Well, I add 1 plus delta x over 2, and the value there is 1.25, okay? So that's going to be the first value. Then uh, where will the other values be? Notice that that's 1 delta x farther, so that's 1.75. This one would be 2.25, and then 2.75, right? So... <clears throat> Uh, the height of that box would, of course, be f of 1.25. The height approximation, the, the rectangle's approximate height will be the exact height of the function halfway across that rectangle, times the width of the box, times 0.5, that's my delta x, uh, plus f of 1.75, 0.5, plus f of... 2.25 times 0.5, that's the third rectangle, plus f of 2.75 times 0.5. Now, uh, using distributivity, I'm going to uh, factor out that 0.5. Why? Because that'll make it so I only have to do one multiplication instead of four. f of 1.25, so... 2 times 1.25 is 2 and a half. 8 minus 2 and a half is 5 and a half. Plus, remember I'd factored that out. 1.75 times 2 is 3 and a half. 4, sorry, 8 minus 3 and a half is 4 and a half. 2 times 2.25 is, let's see, that's five and a half, four and a half, I'm sorry, and four and a half taken away from eight is three and a half. Then last but not least, 2.75, that's five and a half when it's multiplied by two. So five and a half taken away from eight is two and a half. So adding all those up, let's see, those two add to 10, those two add to 6, so we're at 16 times 0.5, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.
or eight. Isn't that swell?